Hello Capricorn and welcome to your weekly reading. I get the sense for you this week you are seriously contemplating something. I got a sense of you like, hmm, and then like if I move that to there, what does that do? And then you're like moving it back and you're like, hmm, but if I move that there, what does it do? And it, it's like you're moving the pieces around and just thinking, strategizing here, quite literally going, right, if I make that move, then it will have this consequence and do I want to do that? So I feel like you're wanting to make a change to something, you're wanting to make a move of sorts, but you're very thinking it through quite pragmatically, which is actually really good. We've got, oh, Knight of Feathers, action and focus. Okay, so this is very much a sense of, yes, you are very focused on this thing that you're wanting to take action on, which feels really great. And it is, it can be that, yeah, the Knight of Feathers sometimes is when things happen really fast. You might have a lot going through your mind at this moment in time as well. We've also got Shaman, divine wisdom and spiritual power. I love this. And this is actually, uh, we can see that beautiful eagle there. Um, this is where you're tapping into uh, some a deeper intuition in terms of the decision making process. Yes, you're kind of moving things around, but there's something going on in the background as well. And you're like, mm, I've just got this sense, this knowing in the right direction that something is either not right or the right way to go. But it's like logically, if you kind of say, I get the message I'm meant to move to there or do this, make this move in my life. When I look at it, it doesn't seem like it, I keep. I keep doubting it because my intuition is is telling me yeah that's the right move that's the right direction but it wasn't possibly my initial where I was thought it was the, I was going to move to or the the first initial choice I was going to make or decision I was going to make or direction I was choosing but now I'm kind of getting to go that way and it's like it just feels really right but logically it might not necessarily make sense so you're just trying to reconcile what this all means in your head. Uh, so, yeah, I, I get there's a sense that the mechanics of something, it, yeah, it's just a funny feeling that you just know you're meant to be doing something and you've got to almost trust the universe with this one, which is interesting. Uh, so we've got the sun, okay, you being shown something really clearly here with the sun. Potentially there's a breakthrough coming in and this particular sun, it's, you know, is going, I'm showing you the direction here with this feather. You know, I'm showing you the direction and you've got the knight of feathers here. You've got the shaman with the eagle. There's a message coming in from spirit loud and clear that's showing you uh, this new path that's coming in or the right path for you this week at this moment in time. And yeah, like I said, it, this could be a breakthrough of sorts with the sun. And for some of you, this is around your vitality and joy. It can be around um, your health or, or where you're finding that in your life at this moment in time. So too much there, <laughs> too much there, Capricorn. So I like it when the shaman comes in because that is very much like a very soul connected energy, You're getting a message from your soul that it's time to take action, time to focus on something uh, and time to kind of make uh, and seeing something very clearly, which, which feels good. So let's see what else is coming through. It's a time to take action. Okay, the Knight of Wands. Now, we are in beautiful Cancer season, which is your opposite sign. So often when you're in your opposite sign energy, it's kind of interesting because you might be getting these deeper feelings and then you're trying to make sense of them. And sometimes when you're in your opposite sign energy, the universe will pose a challenge for you. <laughs> and I keep getting like a sense of a puzzle or a riddle or something. It's like... Um, You've been told to go that way and it just doesn't make sense. But if it gives you a challenge and then you can overcome whatever this riddle or, or puzzle is that's in front of you, then you, you get the rewards and it can be even greater rewards because it's like your opposite sign. And we have just come off the new moon in Cancer, which is something has been activated here in terms of how you're feeling about something, your emotional space. And yeah, to really trust those feelings, the Knight of Wands, this is wanting to make a positive change. The King of Pentacles around money, often the King of Pentacles represents uh, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so, and yeah, this is the birth of love and healing, the Ace of Cups, it's potentially, yeah, 
spending more money on something you love or yeah let's see what else is coming in the ten of wands letting go of some burdens and responsibilities here and yeah making a plan here there's an exit strategy so the three of cups is something celebrating um celebrating this so i feel like you are this king of pentacles it's not gender specific but look it's just looking the character's looking at that ace of cups going you know what? That's something real. That's the thing you're deeply contemplating here. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups represents the birth of something in your life. This is the the new moon energy, the birth of something on the feeling level. You could be feeling very differently or wanting to feel very differently about something. And it can represent healing. So maybe this is the start of a healing process or journey for you. Maybe it's the start of wanting to bring more love and joy into your life. But it's like, yeah, how am I going to do that? So the Knight of Wands is in the back of your head is this sense of I want to be making a positive shift Uh a positive new direction here so that's where I kind of feel like you are walking away from the old moves that you used to do or the old way of doing something and stepping into a new way uh, and so look it's inspiring to see this beautiful ace of cups that is it's like the holy grail it's like this is the thing that um, I'm that is kind of motivating me at this moment so trust your feelings trust that gut feeling that's coming through because it's saying I don't want to feel like this heaviness these burdens these responsibilities it's potentially wanting to let go of something that has and it's like just lighten the load a little bit do something joyful do something fun I want to be feeling a le less burdened and so the seven of swords is where you're applying your logic you're applying your mind. So it started with that feeling that we were getting and it's that sense of the divine wisdom and spiritual power like your soul is talking to you so clearly here. But then you're applying it through your mind, which is why I kept going, seeing you kind of going, mm, if I do that. And the Seven of Swords quite literally is creating a strategy. And so that's what you're doing. You're like strategizing how to bring this into your life at this moment in time, which is why. So bringing in more joy, happiness, love, that healing, whatever this Ace of Cups or just feeling differently. Um, that's why you're celebrating with the Three of Cups or the universe is wanting to celebrate. And this is the reward and it is an emotional reward. So it's like just feeling so much better about something and celebrating a shift or a change that you can change a few structures or bring a strategy in that can connect you to this beautiful ace of cups which is really great maybe you need to say no to some responsibilities or burdens or maybe it's feeling responsible for somebody else and how somebody else is feeling as well the ten of wands is can be you can be carrying around some heavy feelings with you so it can be bur emotional burdens however that's presenting but it's time to kind of yeah release that and so they're kind of saying it's time to focus on that and take some action on that this week. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's a sense of an emotional renewal that's coming in, which is a beautiful energy uh, that is kind of the reward of this um, joy, celebration and emotional renewal. Speaking of action and focus, look, you've got the eagle twice. Look, the shaman and the eagle. Wow. Plus the shark, which is the equivalent of the knight of feathers, the knight of swords. It goes for something really quickly. Um, so... Yeah, it's it's just reiterating these two cards quite literally. But the shark, you know, it is an apex predator in that as soon as it gets that instinct, you know, the smell of blood in this case, it's not necessarily that macabre, but it's like it's just got that instinct. It just comes in super fast. It's like go for it. But it is requiring the message from soul and spirit. The eagle flies higher than the sun. So this represents uh, messages that are coming through for you. So when it's the eagle, it's coming in from the highest forms of spirit. So your soul energy or whatever it is that you connect into on that level, you're getting the message and then you're like going for it. I know what to do once you get that instinct, that soul instinct. So it is about taking the action and focus and you're going to see things really clearly here. Um, so, and just it's looking at the structures in, structures in your life and how you can kind of work, rework them to bring in this ace of cups and that, the three of cups, which is healing and love and celebration and all, all the things we've talked about. So there is this very beautiful reward on offer here, uh, which is lovely. And, uh, yeah, it's just about activating it. But like I said, it's coming from that divine wisdom, that spiritual power within you. So it's coming from a very different place that you possibly um, might not normally connect to, but maybe you do. Not everybody's different. And yeah, just 
trusting that feeling, trusting the direction and then making a plan. (laughs) So that's it, Capricorn. Thanks so much for joining me. I feel like this is a really, really powerful shift that you could make and change that you can make here, especially when your soul's got like this direct line coming to you. That doesn't always happen. So make the most of getting this message. So that's it, Capricorn. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and take care.